across. Good morning. Hey. Don't try to photocopy when you out here being saucy. It's getting too spicy, I ain't even had my coffee. Don't be wrapped up in your feelings and be careful when you flash it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Your option. Don't try to photocopy when you out here being saucy. It's getting too spicy, I ain't even had my coffee. I'm a froggy in the morning, time to get it. Hey. Time to show and prove and show you what I've been doing. They say a fool's rush in, but I'm coming with a passion. I'm trying to get to know you while you're thinking that I'm asking. I like to get it popping because my sound is supersonic. I didn't came so Good morning, far. ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, I just woke up out my sleep. Threw some water on my face. Yeah, it's just another day in the golden state. Hey, shout out to the warriors. I'm on time for a song. I know the best way to make it is to cut Let's the drama. Go. And give it my all and follow through on what I promise. And even if I fail, at least I was honest. See, I can only do what's in my power to do what the good is a power. If I use it like a fool, if I wanna make it to the top, I gotta study clues. Or I could sit back and just watch the news. Hey, don't try to photocopy, you can never top me. I was born to be a winner, you can never stop me. Don't try to photocopy, you can never top me. I was born to be a winner, you can never stop me. When you play the game, man, you better know the options. Good morning, attack in Dallas. You out here being saucy. It's getting too spicy. I ain't even had my coffee. Don't be wrapped up in your feelings and be careful when you flash. All right, let's get this show started. We don't got much time to play around, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we came to do. Let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we came to do. Oh my gosh. Gee, nice to see ya. Bright and early. Shout out to the Philippines. All right, we got the Philippines in the house. Shout out. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we came to do? The gloves are off. Hey, let's go. I'll be back. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta let's take go, let's go. I'm on top of my game, ahead of the class. You can tell that I made it. Look at my grass. Cars in the garage, your tanks full of gas. Thank you. I'm in the mood. This is how it's supposed to happen when you're rich and famous. The algorithm turned me to a maniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we going viral because my zodiac. Cut it out, sir. It's like this. It's like this. Ah! Oh my gosh. All right, DJ, go ahead and kill the music. Stay ahead and kill the music. We don't got much time to play around this morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with today's topics. All right. But before we do, let's get some of the housekeeping items out of the way. I hope you all are having a good and blessed morning. Uh, for those of you, uh, if this is your first time to the show, where are my manners? Let me go ahead and introduce myself. I go by the name Zeus, as you can see, or as some like to say, Triple H. And, and why do they call me Triple H, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's quite simple. The first H stands for honest. There's nobody more honest than me. The second H stands for humble. There's nobody on this app more humble than me, all right? If I get it wrong, I will be uh, the first to apologize, all right? And then the last and final H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> Many of you are very familiar with what we do on this side of town. What we do is special. We hold our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. And believe you me, there's plenty of dirty deeds and crimes to go around if you're talking about the Republican Party, especially the MAGA Republican Party, all right? And so listen up. If you're factose intolerant, 
uh, as my good friend brother Swerve loves to say, that means loves to say that means you're allergic to facts. Uh, this is going to be a very uncomfortable space for you. All right, so I'm going to give you a heads up. If you don't like feeling uncomfortable in the morning, good morning, Ange. Nice to see you. All right. If you don't like feeling uncomfortable, bright and early in the morning, Maga. Uh, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Now is your chance to leave, all right? Because it's going to get hot in here, all right? But guess what? You don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, right. then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., <laughs> if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Bingo. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. All right. And with that, you might want to buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So uh, we got a couple of things to talk about before we get to opening up those boxes. And so uh, I, I guess what I want to start off today is uh, this is a, a warning to MAGA. All right. Seriously. Uh, I'm being very kind right now, but this really is a warning to you. All right. Once again, Trump will not be your president ever again. He won't. All right. You're in a cult and you need to really reconsider. Use critical thinking. You really do need to reconsider uh, just what do you want to do with your lives, right? Before this year is up, because I promise you, it's not going to end well for you, MAGA. It really isn't, all right? So once again, I am the bearer of bad news for MAGA, all right? But listen, I am also what I what I like to think of as a concerned citizen who believes in the importance of open dialogue, critical thinking, and the well-being of our nation. I understand that many of you have placed your trust in Donald Trump. And you know what? For the most part, that's your right to do. All right. I agree. People should be able to have different opinions. However, I cannot in good conscience stand idly by without expressing my deep concern about the direction in which our country is being led. All right. I can't sit back anymore to those who support Donald Trump. I urge you to pause and reflect on the information that you receive and the narratives that have shaped your beliefs. It is essential to consider whether the implications of blindly following any political figure, including Donald Trump, all right? While I do recognize that he has, you know, worked very hard to get his following, I do. It is also crucial to remain vigilant and question whether his actions truly align with the best interests of the American people. Donald Trump's leadership has been marked by divisive rhetoric. He's the most divisive president of our lifetime. All right. A disregard for democratic norms and a focus on self-promotion that often overshadows the needs of our nations. His tenure in office was characterized. Thank you for the subscription. His tenure in office was characterized by policies and decisions that alienated, marginalized many within our society. All right. As citizens, it is our responsibility to hold our leaders accountable and demand transparency, integrity, and empathy from those who hold positions of power. I implore you, MAGA, to consider the potential consequences of unwavering support for a leader who has repeatedly demonstrated a lack of regard for the truth, the rule of law, and the values that underpin our democracy. It is not an act of disloyalty to question and scrutinize those in authority. Rather, it is an expression of your commitment to upholding the principles of a free and just society. All right. And I'm encouraging MAGA, really, please. So listen up. I speak to you not today as an adversary. Think of me as, you know, the MAGA whisperer, right? Giving you these kind words. All right. <laughs> I, I, I really want you to do. Uh, MAGA, I want you to really think about why you support Donald Trump so hard, even to your own demise. All right. Because I promise you, it's not going to get any better for you by the time this year's up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. With that being said, you know what we got to start this show off by doing. Join me in giving MAGA, especially those who continue to support Donald Trump, what they deserve, our honorable First round of booze and shame. Let's get it to them. All right, all right. Now, um, let's get.
get started with today's topics, all right? All right, you know, this is, I'm going to try to go through these real quick, all right? Because we don't got much time to play around with folks, all right? I, I'm starting to recognize there's a, so much activity going on these days, um, and, and, and you just want to make sure you're, you're front and center, all right? So, uh, many of you, you, you're aware of this, right? Uh, and I got to make sure I'm ready to talk about this. Uh, this is a true story, all right? This is a very, very true story, and we're going to dive right in. Ex-Trump aide booted from Victory Party after a photo with Alina Haba. Um, now, <laughs> I don't know how I want to, I don't know how I want to do this. Let's see. So this is what happens when you support Donald Trump. I posted the video on my page last night. You're more than welcome to go watch it, but... This 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 guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, he 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 thought Donald Trump really cared about him. All right. Listen to him getting kicked out. All right. Listen to how he got treated when he posted this video, this picture of Alina Haba. Do I have the photo? Let me see if I have this photo. So there he is right there. We're going to call him Big Dylan. Big Dylan, the ultimate, ultimate MAGA supporter. There he is. There's Big Dylan. Now, Alina Haba, she's told the judge, Judge Kaplan in New York, right attacking uh, I have COVID. I can't come, and I gotta take. And, and, and so now that everyone's thinking she has COVID, then what happens? She shows up in New Hampshire at Donald Trump's victory, right? And 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 she decides maybe I don't have COVID, and might as well just take a picture with this guy Dylan to prove it, right? So typical MAGA behavior. This is why when I ask Trump supporters, who do you think was responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? I wish they would just say us, us Trump supporters, but they'll never do it. But what we have right here is a Trump supporter outing another Trump supporter on social media. This isn't the BLM. This isn't the FBI. This isn't Antifa. This is MAGA on MAGA violence right here. All right. Now listen to this. This nutcase, he gets kicked out of the rally after he posts this picture online. He wants to be famous. We're going to make him famous. More than 12,000 doors for President Trump. I know everything. I'm, I'm getting kicked out right now, guys. Guys, I'm getting kicked out of, of the Trump event for no reason. Like, I'm just standing there supporting Trump. Like, why are you removing me? Can you give me a reason why? Did Trevor tell you to remove me? Like, what, if, what did I do? That's wrong. What did I do? I've done nothing but support Trump since the beginning. Oh. Like, why am I getting removed? Mm. What did I do? You're not, even giving, you're not even giving me a reason you're why? You're not giving me a reason? Why? why what did I, I don't even know what I did. They just removed, they just came up to me and said, I have to leave. I don't know, I saw Trevor and the guy just pointed, like, him to me and said, I have to leave. But, I have to leave! I don't know, it's ridiculous. I've done more for President Trump than literally anybody wow. in the entire state. And they're removing me from this event. That is ridiculous. Oh. Absolutely ridiculous. Unreal. Oh my God. Unreal. They, they just kicked me out for no reason. They kicked him out for no for reason. reason. They just came up to me and said, Dylan, you have to go. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like the biggest Trump guy here. I was the deputy director of the campaign. This is like I've done brother. everything I possibly can to support President <laughs> Trump. This is unreal. This is struggles. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. This is how they treat loyalty in Trump world. This is I've done nothing but be extremely loyal to this man, <laughs> and they kick me out. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I guess oh. I'm not welcome here. I guess they're calling me complete bullshit, <laughs> and they don't actually mean it. You can't make. This stuff. Haven't we all been telling these Trump supporters that Donald Trump doesn't care about them? Right? We keep telling them you're not special. Yeah. All right. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, before we give him his booze and shame, you know what we got to do. Oh, my God. I mean, this any Trump supporter out there, I want you to understand this. This will be your future guaranteed. And this is before you go to jail and hell. I, I've knocked on thousands of doors for this guy. And he, oh, he, didn't even, he didn't even explain why he's kicking me to the curb. Let me see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so, you know, I went online yesterday, right? All right. I went online yesterday. And what did I do? What did I do? Oh, yeah, I think I know what I did. Uh, let's start here. I went to his Twitter page, all right? <laughs> Woo! This is 
is why I do what I do, ladies and gentlemen. Because see, this is I'm, we're gonna catch Snuggles and all the Russian bears doing this. All right. So, but this is a moment in in MAGA history, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how look at what he does. I was just I was just kicked out of the Trump victory party for absolutely no reason. I was just standing there speaking with other Trump supporters when I was asked to leave and pushed out of the venue. <laughs> this is how they treat loyalty. If only President Trump knew how his most loyal and dedicated supporters were treated by his dad. <laughs> so what you see right there, ladies and gentlemen, is he still doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it. He still believes that Donald Trump loves him. He doesn't see that Donald Trump is the reason he's out. He thinks it's Donald Trump's staff. He has. He still doesn't have the ability yet to see that Donald Trump is the reason his behind was kicked out, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And if you look, ladies and gentlemen, look at what they say. <laughs> They, 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 his friends, they, they came to his rescue. Look at him. Sorry that happened to you, Dylan. Not sure why you were removed, but would love to know. You deserve to be there, no doubt. Thanks for all you did to help get Trump elected in New Hampshire. <laughs> his friends are just as confused. They don't get it. Maga, do you understand why I keep telling you? Thanks for the support, Heather. You're a great patriot. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You can't make this stuff up. Look at this. Here he goes. I'm sorry this happened to you, Dylan. <laughs> I've seen how hard you work for Donald Trump. They even think mentioning Donald Trump is somehow going to get Trump's attention. You know, and you know what's sad, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is there's more. There's more. Here's another one, right? They only attack those who have integrity. 45 slash 47 understands this. We know the truth. And who almost lost New Hampshire is at the root of this. All right, stay strong, Dylan. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't, you can't make this stuff up, all right? But this is why I do what I do. First of all, Dylan, uh, thank you so, so much for being able to go live and broadcast <laughs> broadcast this, this, this photo right here, Dylan. Thank you so much, Dylan. All right, I, I really do think... Uh, your post is a, son, a sign of things to come for MAGA, right? But Dylan, unfortunately, I feel zero remorse for you, all right? And so you know what we all got to do, ladies and gentlemen? Join me in giving Dylan. <laughs> We're going to call him, uh, what is he, deranged Dylan? He's deranged. Let's give... He's deranged. Let's give deranged Dylan what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame. Because Dylan, thank you, Cassie, for the subscription. Unfortunately, you're still blind and ignorant. Like, like attacking. What did you say Donald Trump says? He likes the poor and uneducated, the dumb, the poor and uneducated. Yeah. Dylan, that's what you are. And you don't see it was Donald Trump that got you kicked out of the venue because you posted a photo of his boo on your platform just to go viral without being thoughtful of the fact that he, she had lied to the judge, Dylan. All right, you're just not that smart, Dylan, and Donald Trump doesn't want you around. Thank you for doing what you could for him, but you have no value to Donald Trump, and now you are on your knees begging Donald Trump to at least look at you one last time, but he's not because you don't mean a thing to him. Let's give him what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame. <laughs> Silence! You never demon! <laughs> I am having the time of my life, ladies. I could go to sleep. I slept so good, ladies and gentlemen. I posted this video. I haven't had this much good sleep in my in this whole year. This is this is what I've been waiting for. And Snuggles, you're next. J Bear, Stacy Bear. All of you are going to be next. And like I said, what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're all a part of this Netflix series we're going to put together called How Do We How We Got Here, right? We are witnessing probably one of the best shows, best experiences of our lifetime. I mean, it does suck that Donald Trump is the catalyst of it. But 
I get so much joy out of watching Donald Trump's and his supporters <laughs> come to reality. <laughs> I really do. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I could talk about this all morning long, but I got to move it on. I know. I'm so sorry. I could talk about this situation all morning long because this this is. We all know this is what we've been out here doing, all right? We've been telling MAGA this moment was going to come, all right? Now, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk about uh, uh, Hunter Biden's daughter releases a rare statement after a Fox News segment, all right? You know who Jesse Waters, Jesse Waters is. Let's, let, let's hear what Jesse Waters said, and then we're going to listen to what Hunter Biden's daughter said in response to that, all right? Here it goes. No, I knew Biden was bad on the border because he's not the best father. The man can't say no to his own son. He can't say stop. He can't have consequences for actions. And that's what you need. You need a man in charge on the border to say this is not going to be allowed. And if you do break in, this is no. Okay. I knew okay. So Na Naomi responded and she says, I have heard. So many lies about my family, and it takes a lot for me to get upset. This crosses the line, Jesse, Jesse Nasty Waters. Not sure how this man can call himself a reporter, and I hope he never has a son or daughter who struggles with anything. Anything You can disagree with his policies without being ugly. This is a rare moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, that Naomi has had to come out and, and get into the world of politics because of the repeated attacks against her father coming from right-wing news outlets, right-wing news outlets like Fox News. I'm so honored that she had the courage to reach out like this and speak up for her. And, and you know, I gave her a lot of support for that. You know, she didn't need it, but I did. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving nasty deranged Jesse Waters what he deserves for being such an evil vassal of transgression for Donald Trump. Let's give him a round of what? Booze and shame. Oh, You're disgusting. Oh, you know what? Please, MAGA, I've asked you very kindly. Do not come into my live and spam the chat with silly things. I don't want to see any FJB. I don't want to see any of that. Put intelligent comments in the... If MAGA, is it possible for you to put intelligent remarks in the comment section? Don't put Trump 2024, all right? Because you just reveal how ridiculous you are. It shows that, you know, you really... I get it, you're proud of your eighth grade education, all right, but there's folks out here with way higher levels of education in the eighth grade. And so what you end up doing is you end up making yourself look ridiculous. All right. And like I said at the top of the show, if you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, all right. if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you hear if you're not happy here in the United States of America. Do us all a huge favor and just leave this country. I had I, I heard one of these MAGA demons yesterday, and you were in that live, and he got in there and says, why don't the Democrats just leave the country and go over to Mexico? Because, you know, they're arguing about the border quite a bit these days. <laughs> and I just shook my head. First of all, why the heck would the Democrats leave President Biden behind? That doesn't make any sense, number one. Number two, the Democrats aren't the one complaining about how nasty the border is. It's you. The Democrats have put forth significant legislation to try to address the crisis. You know, this is not just a border issue. This is an immigration issue. And we know that the Republican Party, they don't care about facts. We know what you're doing. You're just stalling it out to make sure you can make to, to help make Donald Trump happy. You don't really want no solutions. Right. So if if anybody needs to leave this country, I am going back to what I originally have been saying. If you really want to make America great, ladies and gentlemen, especially for MAGA, all we need to do is deport MAGA. All right. We especially. 
especially any individual, this needs to be on the law books, any individual who engaged in and participated in an insurrection after your sentence, after going to prison, all right, because we need those license plates, all right, we're going to need you to make some license plates real quick, but once that's done, don't give them probation, don't give them three years probation, send their special behinds to four places, right? North Korea is definitely on the menu. You can go to China and have chocolate cake with President Xi. I wouldn't bat an eye. Or you can go be with your Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. You love that guy. But you know, if it was up to me, Elon, give me one of them SpaceX rockets, right? The fourth option, we could send them to Mars, right? <laughs> they don't like me because I tell the truth. All right, let's talk about it, right? GOP governors are backing Texas constitutional right to self-defense this is what they're saying a handful of republican governors took to social media yesterday in support of texas republican governor greg abbott's statement in his state constitutional right to self-defense self-defense the united states supreme court ruled monday allowing the biden administration to remove razor wire from the texas border which had been put in place by the state and temporarily blocked border patrol agents from cutting in cutting it down while the Department of Homeland Security had argued the wire prevented them from accessing the border, Texas officials claimed it slowed the increase of illegal immigrants crossing into the state. Since the ruling, Texas has refused to vacate their border position and instead erected more razor wire on Tuesday. Abbott released a statement on Texas' constitutional right to self-defense, claiming that the federal government has broken the compact between the United States and the states, emphasizing President Joe Biden refused to enforce immigration laws. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And, and, and this is why I say the greatest threat to our country is really MAGA. First of all, laws are meant to be followed. You don't have the right to just enforce laws that you randomly feel need to be enforced and override other how do you think you can overrule the supreme court texas greg abbott and all you other republicans out there that support this nonsense you see them on tiktok lately especially on twitter i stand with governor abbott first of all that's an obvious lie because greg abbott isn't standing he's sitting he's hot wheels right and so with that being said, you know what we got to do. Since these folks don't want to follow the laws, we got to give them what they deserve, right? Another round of booze and shame. How dare you ignore the law and then somehow portray yourselves as victim? It's the same story every day with MAGA. You attack, the, the, you, you try to overthrow democracy and what do you do? You sit there and try to say you're somehow the victim. You're not victims. I don't allow Trump supporters to be victims around me. And that's why they don't like me. But you know what? I don't care. Let's give them what they deserve. Some booze and shame. I don't allow Trump supporters to be victims around me, all right? And we give them the booze and shame, ladies and gentlemen, because it's crystal clear they don't have have any. All right? Now, this, it's, it's with a heavy heart, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. It's with a heavy heart that I have to cover this next topic. It is. All right, here we go. I thought we put him to bed yesterday. I, I, I really did think we put Tim Scott to bed yesterday, all right? But this guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, he definitely deserves uh, 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 he deserves to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for the for the level of treason he's committing against his own community. I've never in my lifetime, ladies and gentlemen, seen anything of this nature in my life. All right. So what the backstory to this, ladies and gentlemen, is we all saw the viral moment. When he got on national television, mm, he forgot he was black. He did. And he took on a personality that 
I bet you he dreamed of for his entire life. And he got up there after Donald Trump humiliated Nikki Haley. All right. And he said, I just I, I, I just love you. What did he say? Uh -oh. <laughs> I just love you. No, that's true. That's why he's right. Right. I just love you to his massa. I, I, I said, you can't make this stuff up, folks. So where are we at with this, right? Uh, Tim Scott goes on to Fox News with Laura Ingram yesterday, and, and he tooted it up. He, he doubled down on tooting it up, all right? Let's see what he had to say on, on, on Fox News yesterday. There's two different parts I want to play. All right, let's start here. Carolina Senator Tim Scott would become a target when he endorsed Trump. There you go. He, he's he at night. I don't know he, how he faces his friends and family. I don't know, but he came to face the Ingram angle. Joining me now, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Senator, I love, um, it. I love it. Were you expecting this, I was this not, kind of treatment? I was not, but here's what I do expect. Oh, I was. I was I, expecting it. I expect the left to lose their minds because Donald Trump did more for minorities than Joe Biden will ever do. Think about the fact that Donald Trump put more money in historically black colleges and universities than any other president, any other How president. wages and small businesses among no, the African Americans. The bottom 20% wage growth was higher than the top 20%. The lowest unemployment rate in the history of the country came first under Donald Trump. You think about rare blood diseases like sickle cell anemia. Who helped champion that cause with me? Donald Trump. Think about the greatest anti-poverty program in the history of the country. Opportunity zones. Donald or just a good economy. That helps, well, helps African-Americans. Seven million like jobs. The rest of us. Guess what? He, he helped white people and black people and brown people. And, I mean, he liked everybody. But they're going really personal on you. And, 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 and I'm used to it because of what they've done to Justice Thomas, you, uh, who's you, been my friend for 40 years. Yes. And White people, brown people, black people. He, Donald Trump was everybody. He said Donald Trump's name at least 10 times. This is tooting it up, ladies and gentlemen. This is a... I won't even give it to him, but this is a gentleman that's tooting it up for Donald Trump at a record level. He's outside of his, he's outside of himself. He doesn't realize that he, he presents himself black. All right. He presents black, but he doesn't recognize this. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll never see this in American history again. This is not, this is one of those rare moments. Trust me, I'm an expert at this. All right. Now let's fast forward to the next part of this, where he's questioned about, the moment he, he got on stage and said, I just love you, daddy. You know, that's what he said, right? Listen to what he says. It's like when Nikki has your buddy. I mean, these things get uncomfortable. You're sitting up there and he's, he's pretty tough on her all the time. I mean, it's pretty tough to dress. And I probably wouldn't have recommended that he go up for the dress. But, I mean, that's Trump, you know. You know he's going to be, yeah. But um, was it uncomfortable for you because of your friendship with her? Listen, she served our state well as a conservative governor. She has decided to be a moderate re Republican presidential she candidate. She said she's not a globalist. Well, I can do one thing. When, when you're not willing to say unequivocally, I will protect Social Security for every single senior citizen on it today. They say it's just the 20-year-olds. It's just the 20-year-olds yeah. are going to have an adjustment with the age. Okay, good. Watch the plan. Watch the plan. If when you think about the fact that we don't spend enough money on our border, and yet we're going to talk about whether it's Ukraine or, or Israel, which I support both, I can tell you this. If we don't have accountability, you can't, you can't spend money in Ukraine. You have to protect America's border. The greatest invasion in American history Amazing. has come oh, across so our funny. southern border. As you can see, Tim Scott has no answer for the way that he was tooting it up for Donald Trump. Only thing he wants to do is pivot and deflect and try to bring up, you know, the main talking point, which is the border. You know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we've caught Tim Scott being uh what we call uh, uh a traitor of in a traitor in the midst all right so you know what we got to do ladies and gentlemen let's get ready to give here he is right there tim scott what he deserves because he's outside of himself and humiliating himself on a daily basis for donald trump another round of booze and shame <laughs> gonna be proud of me all right and you know what we got to do to uh mr scott if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black tim scott ain't black ladies and gentlemen and you heard it you heard it here first
All right, he presents black, but that man ain't black. You know, you know, and I said, you know, you ever seen that movie? You ever seen that uh that one movie? What was it? Uh, <clears throat> that one movie we all remember with Jamie Foxx. What was it called? Uh, uh, Django. Y'all remember that movie, Django? Don't y'all remember that movie, Django? Remember this character, Samuel Jackson? Remember this movie? <laughs> that is Tim Scott right there. All right, I mean, look at they kind of they kind of sim they kind of similar, right? It's you know what it is, right? You remember this part? What's the matter? Why you so lonely? You miss me? Oh yes, sir. I miss you like a like a whole miss flop. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh oh. I just love you. No, that's good. right, right. That's right. why he's a great politician. I just miss you. There he is, right there, to Donald Trump. I just miss you, Massa, like a hog misses slot. Mm, 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 mm. Tim, Tim Scott. I, I, I like I said, <laughs> I've been around this earth for what 40, 40 years. I've never seen anything like this outside of the movies all right so this one ladies and gentlemen is definitely going down in history uh and i hope he can look at himself in the mirror and, and really be happy with himself all right let's move it on ladies and gentlemen uh, i'm so sorry to put you all through that but we had to uh, we had to address it we did all right let's move it on to uh let's see oh i know where i'm at i'm so sorry we already talked about that all right here here's here's our latest topic all right uh, what do I want to talk about? Okay, this is just some more more political news, all right, for you Trump supporters. Ex-Trump aide Peter Navarro to be sentenced for defying a January 6th committee subpoena. Wow, former Trump White House advisor Peter Navarro will be sentenced today for defying a congressional subpoena to cooperate with the House Select Committee that investigated the January 6th attack on the, on the United States Capitol. Navarro was convicted in September on one count of contempt of Congress over his refusal to appear for a deposition in front of the committee and on a second count for refusing to produce documents. <clears throat> he is the second Trump advisor to be convicted for refusing to cooperate with the January 6th panel after Steve Bannon was found guilty in July of defying a January 6th committee subpoena. And so I want to make sure I just let you Trump supporters know What's really happening to all of your friends? Because when I tell you the ultimate MAGA reward is jail, and then if you don't get your soul right, hell, I want to make sure you have concrete examples of this playing out in reality, right? And so with that being said, Peter Navarro being found guilty and being sentenced is more proof of just how dangerous Donald Trump is. And if you don't believe it, just look at everybody that's around him. You see how they get kicked out of the rallies? Or they're going to prison. So let's give Don, let's give Peter Navarro what he deserves. Because he chose to break the law and he thought he could get away with it. Only to realize, mm -mm, you're not getting away with it. In fact, you're going to be held accountable and sent to prison. All right? Let's give him what he deserves. A round of booze and shame. There's some dissension in the comments section, uh, like I said at the top of the show. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. You hear that, MAGA? And I, and I, and I do mean that. All right, let's move it on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to play. I, we don't got much time, but it's time to play uh, a part of the show that I like to call... <clears throat> MAGA or not? Would you all like to? Would you all like to participate in the show? I got called the the MAGA or not part. Would you like to? Would you like to participate in MAGA or not with Zeus for a quick moment? All right, are we ready? MAGA or not, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? By 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 show of hands, are you ready to play MAGA or not? All right, you know what the rule is: put a one in the chat if it's MAGA, or or two if you think it is other. All right. <clears throat> Uh, and this is, you see, it's a trigger warning, but this is real stuff that is happening in this country, all right? All right? So this story starts out with, 
a man threatening to unalive a 14 year old woman, uh, 14 year old girl and her family after she refused to send him explicit content via Snapchat. Ladies, please watch out for these MAGA men out here demanding you send them anything via Snapchat. This is a game they got going on and, and we understand now this is part of a larger crime ring they got going on, all right? A Florida man was arrested after cops said he tried to solicit inappropriate photos from a minor on Snapchat and his heinous scheme did not go as planned. On Friday, Brevard County Sheriff Wayne Ivey made a post to his office Facebook page detailing a very disturbing allegation in which a young woman, a young girl became the target of a 20 year old David McInnes on the social media app. All right. Uh, and this is what he said. This is what it says, ladies and gentlemen. You're not, I'm not making this up. You can go look it up yourself. Oh my, it doesn't show the whole thing, but let's just, let's just, if you, this is what the, uh, sheriff's office says if you solicit and threaten a teenager in brevard county there's only one place for you jail <laughs> folks there's no better time to talk to your children about internet and social media safety than right now and yesterday's arrest of david mcginnis is a perfect example of why we need to have those tough conversations with our kids mcginnis was arrested yesterday after Agent Stanton Weimer from our Special Victims Unit obtained an arrest warrant for his sorry carcass for electronic threats to unalive, extort, lewd, lascivious conduct, and computer solicitation of a minor. This case is just plain scary as it started when McGinnis engaged in a conversation with a, a juvenile victim on Snapchat. After viewing a photograph that was posted publicly by the victim, McGinnis and the victim, who was only who was underage, talked for a short period of time until the victim learned the age of McGinnis, who is 20 years old. Once learning his age, the victim stopped replying to him, and for a few months later, McGinnis re-engaged the victim, demanding inappropriate photos. When the victim refused to send the photographs, he began to make absolutely vile threats to grape and unalive the victim and her family members. He went as far as to tell the victim he knew where they lived and would be there within an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, you can go read this for yourself. But in the interest of time, <clears throat> I got to move on. I've heard enough. Let's 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 just get the audience. Let's just do the, 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 the poll real quick, especially while MAGA is here. Put a one in the chat if you believe this is MAGA and put a two if you believe it's other. You see this? You see this, ladies and gentlemen? You see? You see the results, MAGA? This is why we are firmly against everything MAGA represents. Like I said, MAGA represents pure evil. It does. And there's no other way to escape it. This guy, as far as I'm concerned, is simply following one of the playbooks, one of Donald Trump's playbooks. You know, you ever heard of trickle down economics? Well, this is trickle down MAGA, right? If Donald Trump does it, then it should be OK for you. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> join me in giving nasty, nasty McGinnis <clears throat> what he deserves. A round of booze and shame. May you rot in hell. Let's give it to him, ladies and gentlemen. This goes to you, MAGA, as well. <laughs> this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is, is why I push back the way that I push back against MAGA. And a lot of people don't like my delivery. They don't like my approach. But what else, what else will it take, right? What else will it take for you Trump supporters to recognize that you represent evil? Where were you, Jay Bear? Your Russian bear? All the work you say you put in to help kids, Jay Bear. Not one time since I've known you have you've ever brought in any information to support your claim that you do this kind of work. I've presented more examples of children needing to be helped 
and being attacked by folks in your party, Jay Bear, than you've ever presented. And it's alarming and it's disgusting. It's evil and it's vile. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to do it, but we're going to have to. Let's give the Russian bears a round of booze and shame for being hypocrites out here. All right, let's give it to them. They refuse to stand up against evil, all right? And that's why uh, there's no respect for what you do out here on this platform. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Let's move it on. We got only a little bit of time, and then I got to open up those those boxes in here from those of you <clears throat> who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. <clears throat> a judge uncorked a blistering warning to a cop convicted in the January 6th attack. A judge handing down a sentence to a Chicago cop. Remember how they always say we saw cops on January 6th? You hear you remember those Trump supporters saying that? <laughs> I understand because there were members of law enforcement that participated and engaged in the insurrection. A cop and his sister, after a jury convicted them of four misdemeanors for entering the United States Capitol during the January 6th riot, uncorked an unbridled denunciation of the events of that deadly day. Carol Chisawick, who was 32, who has been on unpaid leave with the Chicago Police Department and his 30-year-old sister, and Janiska Chisawick, who journeyed with them to Washington, D.C., entered the Capitol. And they were sentenced by United States District Court Judge Anna Reyes to 90 days of home detention and three years of probation. Carol, who has said that she has found part-time work as a security officer, will be, in a con will be in a quandary with the force since Reyes also imposed restrictions on possessing firearms. McFarland claimed Reyes was lenient with the Chesawicks and paraphrased her speech in court. In a post on social media, he said the judge uncorked a blistering warning about the risk to democracy. He said, quote, sometimes in an elevated voice, warning about the risk of democracy that is ongoing, she told the Chesawick, you're of Polish descent. You know what happened to the people of Poland during the time of Hitler and Stalin during World War II. That's what happened when democratic guardrails fail. That's what happened when democracies fail. She was also struck by how they both didn't think that they were wrong that day. She went on to say, I just find it unbelievable that you two didn't know that you shouldn't be in the Capitol. Five people lost their life that day <clears throat> at the Stop the Steal rally to compel Congress to halt the certification of the election and exploded into a widespread melee where five people lost their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do. Then it went on to say this. When Carol walked out of the courtroom, McFarland says she posed a question to him. I asked if he still supports Donald Trump. And he said, yeah, in a big way. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Even after going through all of this, they still want to support Donald Trump in a big way. And this is why I'm going to continue to do what I do on MAGA. The gloves are officially off and we're going to make sure you're held accountable for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in giving the seditionist, treasonous cult members what they deserve. Another round of booze and shame. All right, all right. Now we're rounding the corner, ladies and gentlemen, uh, where we must cover uh, one of the one of the traitors has been captured and you know sentenced. All right. This is part of the show that makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and I understand that, but unfortunately, I will not change my way of delivering this truth, all right? It's very important that we wake these people up who are in this cold, they've drank in the Kool-Aid, and make sure they understand what their future holds, all right? So if you don't like this part of the show, you know what to do. Come on back in 20 minutes, all right? Maybe 10 minutes, all right? I'll try not to go that long, but let's get into it. All right. 
Proud Boy member sentenced to six years in prison for Capitol Riot role after berating the judge. I didn't say BLM. I didn't say FBI. I didn't say Antifa. I said Proud Boy, a.k.a. Trump supporter. I've done this part of the show almost a full year. Every day I go live, we always have a Trump supporter to sentence, right? Um, so with that being said, I'll also say I've never sentenced any anyone else other than a Trump supporter. All right. So when I ask you, is it a Trump supporter or not? This is why we drop you from the box or we, we boo you when you start lying. A man who stormed the United States Capitol with fellow Proud Boy extremist group members was sentenced yesterday to six years in prison after he berated and insulted the judge who punished him. Mark Brew repeatedly interrupted Chief Judge James Bosberg before he handed down the sentence calling him a clown and a fraud, presiding over a kangaroo court. This guy is full of the MAGA demon. The judge warned Brew that he could be kicked out of the courtroom if he continued to disrupt the proceedings. And what did the MAGA demon say? You can give me a hundred years and I'd do it all over again, said Brew, who was handcuffed and shackled. That's the definition of no remorse in my book, the judge said. Prosecutors described Brew as one of the least remorseful rioters who assaulted the Capitol on January 6th. They say Brew planned for an armed insurrection on January 6th, 2.0 attack to take over the government in Portland, Oregon, several weeks after the deadly riot in Washington, D.C. So <clears throat> he tried it in <clears throat> he tried it in D.C. and then he decided to go try it again in Oregon. He wanted a repeat of January 6th, only he implied this time it would be more violent, prosecutors wrote in court filings. Brew has been representing himself with an attorney on standby. He has spewed anti-government rhetoric that appears to be inspired by the sovereign citizens movement. At the start of the hearing, Brew demanded that the judge and the prosecutor turn over five years of their financial records. So now he's going to tell them how to run their courtroom. The judge gave him a 10 minute break to confer with his standby lawyer before the hearing resumed with more interruptions. I don't accept any of your terms and conditions, Bruce said. You're a clown, not a judge. Wow. This is how he thought. Prosecutors had warned the court that Brew intended to disrupt his sentence on Tuesday and called into a nightly vigil outside the jail where he and other rioters are being held. He told supporters of the detained January 6th defendants that he would, quote, try to put on a good show at his sentencing. Brew Bosberg convicted, the judge convicted Brew of seven charges, including two felonies after hearing trial testimony without a jury. Prosecutors recommended a, prince, a prison sentence of seven years and three months, but they only got six years. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do to this traitor, right? Right, Yvonne? You know what we got to do? Join me in giving this traitor what they deserve. This radicalized, angry, domestic terrorist, what he deserves. Since he has none, we'll give it to him. A round of booze and shame! <laughs> Since he, uh, you know what we got to do since uh, he's been sentenced. Let's send him off the old-fashioned way. I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol 
have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. Well, let me just say I'm not going to spend too much time on Donald Trump's uh, cognitive disorders. He tried to say that Nikki Haley did not allow the National Guard to come, but it was Nancy Pelosi. It was nobody. It was Joe. It was Donald Trump. He knows, and you know, that Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, and I begged for hours for the National Guard to come. He knows that we don't have the party to bring the National Guard. The president does. Sad to say for the District of Columbia because every other state, the governor has that power. You hear that, MAGA? This is what happened. You allowed a man who wakes up every morning, puts a bird's nest on his head. Paints himself orange and puts on adult diapers, right? And soils his diapers every morning, all right? Because we know he's on he's on something because I just posted a video that there was drugs all in the White House, right? You allowed this addict to convince you to leave one side of the country to go meet up with him on the other side of the country. He didn't offer to pay for it or anything. All he did was post something on his social media platform. Stop the steal. Word steal should have went off like alarm bell. What the heck? Am I going to somewhere called stop the steal? Maybe you could clean it up and make it seem a little more professional. No, it was a, it was a call to action in your world. You flew there. You drove there. You got in the back of those U-Hauls with your friends in those khakis. And you all went there and assembled you brought tactical gear. You went and watched him speak at the Ellipse, all right? And from what you've told me, some of your fellow friends out there, your, your friends, Ray Epps, you saw that that individual was, in your mind, the FBI. So Ray Epps was the FBI. Okay, so if you knew the FBI was there, why did you continue to do it? Knowing they were there, didn't you... Nothing went off in your head to tell you this could be a setup. Donald Trump told you he was going to march down to the Capitol. He's going to be there with you, right? You showed up and there was no Trump. You didn't recognize that you had been played at this point, right? Do you understand why I say to you, just don't say anything in the comment. Don't put it. You're showing Americans just how ridiculous you are. I can't listen to you. I can't take you serious. The, these people are tearing their families apart for a man that doesn't even care for them. You heard what he said in his speech. You do not represent our country with those heinous acts of violence. All right. Unlawful. Intruders. He called you intruders. <clears throat> and then he ended it by saying, <clears throat> number one. You will pay. He said you will pay. Right. And he also said he immediately summoned the National Guard. He said he summoned the National Guard. And you got proof of that because Nancy Pelosi said they begged this man for hours. Him and him and Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell, they begged Donald Trump for the National Guard. All right. So it was his responsibility to get the National Guard there, and he got them there. And now all of you are sitting in a jail cell. And some of you like that. I get it. Some of you like being in a jail cell with other men. That's your thing. I get it. I'm not going to knock it. But don't sit here and try to portray yourselves as victims and hostages. You're not victims. You're traitors. You're, lying, you're liars. You're treasonous traitors. As far as I'm concerned, and you deserve to rot in jail and hell. All right? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up these boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. All right, that concludes my monologue. <laughs> that does. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm opening up the boxes, and then we're going to, uh, let's see, hear from those of you who who, who are brave enough to, to get in a box and, and tell the truth. You know, one of the things that I don't like to do, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is... I don't like to 
I don't like to shout and holler. I don't like having no fallouts over no foolishness, right? That's just the type of person that now I used to be, I, I used to be a lot more passionate about things I believe. And, and you know, you want to go hard? Well, we'll both go hard. We'll all go. You know, I used to be on that type of time. But but right now, no. What I'm on right now is getting straight to the point. All right. And when it comes to you, MAGA demons, you are on the wrong path. And I don't got time to help you understand why you're there. The best thing that you can do, and I do mean this from, you know, they like to say 10 toes down, 10 toes down. The best thing you can do, MAGA, is sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. All right. Because you don't know anything. What is that guy? His name? What is it? One of the I got an eighth grade education, Zeus, and I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, why ain't you using any of that money to buy an education, you nutcase? <laughs> what are you doing with your money? <clears throat> what are you doing with your money? All right, let's get to the boxes, ladies and gentlemen. You know I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too activated. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom, my brother. You yeah, know well, 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 well. Hey, uh, do you know what I did? What's that? Well, of course you do. I called the judge and the law one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I remember that. I remember that. But for those in the audience who don't know what you did, uh, could you kindly shed uh, some light on it? Well, yeah. Let me change my picture. Hold on. Okay. Let me change my picture. You're going to like this, ladies and gentlemen. This this, this right here made my... <laughs> made my um, so this woman who lied to the judge, say that she, because her family had COVID, that she needed to postpone. And of course they did. So because of this young man who got thrown out at Trump's rally and I found out, I decided to call the judge and leave a message <laughs> on his machine. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you have any of the audio of you calling the judge? Other, you than, other than on my on my uh, my pages, but no, I'm in. Oh, I'm in oh la now. ladies and gentlemen, if you if, if listen, I was, you know, I was, you know, taking out the trash yesterday right and, and and i was playing that and and, and i said oh my <laughs> god he he really did call the judge on alina hop <laughs> i recorded it i recorded it from the beginning where the guy answered <laughs> and said i'm i'm the court clerk or whatever for the judge kaplan and i left a message and i recorded put it on my page yeah and uh yeah i've got a lot of people going way to go way to go <laughs> On, right uh, on my number two, the attacking number two page, I got over twenty five thousand views on it. Good, good. People, people are loving that. You know, hey, um, whether you're left, right, or center, if you do things wrong, you need to be called out for it. If you lie to the judge, you need to be called out for it. If you're lying to the American people, you need to be called out for it. If you play the racist card like toilet paper guy does, and putting more videos up. You need to be called out for it. Um, if you're a hypocrite, you need to be called out for it. If you support sexual molestation, you need to be called out for it. If you're a parent, either mother or father, you need to be called out for it. Uh, if yeah. you're following a guy who degrades the United States of America, its constitution, and the democracy, you need to be called out for it. You're supporting a man who has destroyed literally the fabric of America and the way we think. Ethics, yep. morals, common sense, cool. family values don't mean anything anymore. Love you too. You yeah. guys, you guys who believe in Trump, you're allowing him. him to destroy America because you think you're not going to be harmed. Donald Trump is literally now attacking uh, uh, Nikki Haley, saying that he has dirt on her if she doesn't drop. Wow. You have you have the Republican Party already saying Marjorie Taylor Greene that the numbers that Haley has with the independent voters is fake. It's fraudulent that they're already claiming that even the Republican ran uh, election for them is is uh, inappropriate and lying about the figures for you people to continue to believe this crap just shows you don't give a damn about the American way of life that you believe one guy, one fat man, 
who molested women went into the dressing rooms of naked underage teens and you guys support it you don't care that he calls out the judges and attacks the judges and attacks the jury and attacks people who don't support him and now you have the republican party wow. denying a border security bill that will help what you people are complaining about border crossing tell them attacking and because they don't want to go against Donald Trump, now the Republican Party doesn't want to support it because they don't want to get on the bad side of Trump. But they're willing to say that Joe Biden and the Democrats don't want to stop the border crossings when they're putting a bill there to stop it and they're ignoring it and you guys don't see it. Amen. Get them attacking. And I'm doing this laying in my bed. Woo! Busting your guys' new asshole. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, he, he didn't keep it clean. Keep it clean. Sorry. It was a clean one, though. But anyway, you bring somebody else up. I love you guys. We got to keep this going. Do not stop. Do we not won't. stop. Thank you, Attacking. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my good friend, Attacking. Please check out the video of him calling the judge. It will make you chuckle, all right? Um... And you know what we got to do since he's a bad boy in the kingdom. Let's give it to him. And let that be a warning to you Trump supporters. We have no problem calling the cops and letting them know you're breaking the law. All right. We have no, because you would do it to us, and you know what we're going to do when they, when the cops show up? That's why it's called Bad Boys, right? Because I'm going to do a show called Bad Boys. Me and Jack Smith, we're going to pull up. The only thing we're going to say to you is this. Why didn't you just comply? <laughs> oh, my God. You can't make this stuff up, folks. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Uh, good morning, Jess. How, how are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I am all right. Just ending. Just all right. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm hanging in there. I okay. was listening, and I'm so proud of Naomi for standing up and speaking out because the thing with the right, I mean, honestly, society in general, they demonize addiction, they demonize addicts, and um, we spend because I am nine years clean. We spend the rest of our lives proving to other people that we aren't who we were in our addiction. Amen. And, and I used to, I used to party too, Jess. I know what it's like. So yeah, yeah. congratulations on your sobriety and staying clean. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I and a lot of people. I mean, yes, it is a choice to a certain extent, but a lot of the people in drug addiction have suffered from a lot of trauma in their life and they're sick. They need help and they're just yep. sick. That's all yep. it is. And Jesse Waters, people on the right, it's just Evil. sad how they are. Uh, it's just so hateful. Yeah, right? It, it, it is hateful <laughs> that they, it, it is hateful that instead of, you know, doing what they say they are, which are being Christians and being supportive of sobriety, they they continue to try to do whatever they can to try to make folks relapse, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I feel like and they demonize so much that if he were to relapse or if it came out that he did relapse, they'd be like, see, I told you. I told mm. you. Yeah. And meanwhile, they're not calling out their own side. Mm. They're not right, calling because out or calling in for the people that have issues on their side right you know there was a report that came out about the trump administration you know uh and their drug use oh yeah Did i saw that, that video and yeah uh, you know what i thought when i saw that was mustache man mm. because he did that keeping his soldiers up and at him mm. have to keep them drugged up so they'll do whatever he wants yep 
And it's isn't it? Leverage. It kind of makes it. It makes it. It makes sense, right? Because you don't you ever wonder, like, how on earth is Trump up so late at night? And also, how come no one's speaking out against him? They're probably mm. using with him. Mm. You got to be on that stuff to do what he does. Ain't no way he's on a natural mm -hmm. diet. No. Not at all. Nope. Yeah. Tell them, Jess. Tell them. They know it. They know it. I can recognize. You know, the thing is, when you got experience with it, you can recognize that demon, can't you? Right? Oh, you can. You can. Is that? Especially as um, a former addict, you can tell Don Jr. is on some stuff. And anyone that says otherwise, <laughs> oh boy, you're blind. Yeah. They can yeah. borrow my glasses. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew it. I knew it. When they said this man has done it so much, he needs to wear a diaper. When they said he's done it so much, he needs to wear a diaper. I said, yeah, see, that's somebody that had unlimited access to it. Oh, leaky right? cheeks. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what Takesha called him. Leaky cheeks. Yeah. All right. I heard All my right. bell. I just wanted to come up and say I'm so proud of Naomi for speaking up because that took a lot of courage. It really did. And I'm proud that you brought that up as well and made sure everyone knows out there that, you know, this is a serious issue. And when folks are actually, actually are able to overcome the odds, it's a good thing. Exactly. Thank you. All right. All right. You two, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Jess, one of the bad men in the community. Where did my comments go? Terry, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm back now. Yeah, for some reason the comments disappeared. Good morning, Miss Terry. Uh, looks like you might be. Uh, are you, you there? Me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you doing? Yep, can this you morning? hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm home today. Okay. All right. Well, well, you got a I, nice I thought little I would day. say hi to you. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, listen, it's a pleasure to have you come on up here and talk with us. Mm. So I have some questions for you. Do you yeah. notice lately how even more angry these mega demons are? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. They, and they should be, right? Because they're coming closer to reality. Yeah, and everything they don't like is fake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything. If, if yeah. uh, oh, uh, Biden won in New Hampshire, that's fake. Mm, yeah. Mm. I mean, because so. you... You could imagine, right, how difficult it is for them to really deal with this reality, right? I mean, they're heavily invested. If some folks have spent millions and millions of dollars, right, to actually live this lie. And, and I know? can't honestly imagine hating your fellow man, American, so much. I mean, it's, it's astonishing to me. I mean, that you will give your wife, your family, everything to him. Mm -hmm. And you want to, you know, um, off your fellow Americans. It's, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> and, and, they, and they don't understand why, you know, we call them domestic terrorists, right? And then they sit there and they complain about folks coming in this country being terrorists. Yeah. Right? And, and yeah. they don't understand that it's like the pot calling the kettle black. To the real Americans out here, how how are you gonna call folks that we haven't even seen try to overthrow our government? We ain't we don't see them forming these hate groups like we see MAGA. How are you gonna call them terrorists? Yeah, I don't understand how how can they go around so much and 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 following their leader and chastising every person for everything, but God forbid if you say anything about their orange Jesus. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, makes I don't make I can't make sense of it. It's just uh, neither. Neither wow. can I. And, and if you yeah. ask them, well, what authority gives you the power to do that? If they try to say it's the Constitution 
then we're going to be able to point out all these examples of where they don't follow the Constitution, right? Yeah. So again, where do you get your authority, MAGA? Yeah. And, and, and what kind of parents brought these people up to not accept a loss? You lost. Lost. Biden won. Accept it. Yep. I mean, they're like little children stomping up and down for three years now. Mm. And, and, if, and when he loses again, and he will, I mean, how long are you going to carry this on for? Right. Isn't that he, something? He, yeah, you know. I mean, they don't have really any answers, but I, I'm glad you're at least throwing the questions out there. Right, Terry? Because these yeah. are questions that really need to be rolling around in their minds. Yeah. Anyway. Thank uh -oh. you. I just wanted to say hi real quick. Well, listen, thank you. And, you know, uh, come on back now. All right. I appreciate it. I listen to you every from... day at work. So keep up the good work. I, oh, thank you. That's, that's you, very. You made a comment the other day, but you never know who's listening to you. A lot of people. Right. Oh, my gosh. Listen, you're going to so. make me blush, Terry. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. All right. And have a good one. Enjoy your day off. All right. Well, thank you. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Listen, I saw that comment out there. Someone said another lost black man. It must have been they must have been talking about uh, themselves or perhaps Tim, Tim Scott, right? Because you know what I said, and I agree with him, right? You know where I stand on this. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black? Yeah. If you have a problem, yeah. Let's continue this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, who do we got here? Okay, Superwoman, all right, good morning. How are you doing? How are you doing, Superwoman? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I just, uh, you know, I know it's been a while and I know it's been, um, you know, a lot going on. And um, I actually just got over uh, COVID myself. I was in the hospital. Okay. Days. Oh wow! And so I haven't been in here as much, brother. But I wanted to let you know that I absolutely do support you. I oh. support you a hundred and fifty billion percent. Um, okay. I wanted you to know, uh, you know, about my little video, and that's why I tagged okay. you, baby. But oh, I just... haven't seen. I haven't seen them. But if you, it's better to just DM it to me because you know. Um... I don't want to seem like I got a lot going on, but most of the time, you know, you I have get, a lot going on. So you well, always mo work. most of the time, a lot of the haters out there, they tag me in their in their nasty, you know, and I'm like, wait a second now, uh, you need to go back to the shadows you came out of. All right. Because I believe in dwelling in light, not darkness. You know what I mean? But exactly. but all right. And that's what I was getting ready to say, too, is that I just admire. I don't care what's going on around us. Right. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, you keep the main thing, the main thing. You are always putting in that work, exposing exactly who the insurrectionists are, exposing exactly who MAGA is, what the mm -hmm. mindset is and how dangerous they are to Americans. I love that about you. We Thank all you. can learn to keep safer spaces, cleaner spaces for each other from you Zeus I admire that hey listen listen you know I, I I've studied and learned from the best out here all right but uh, I do appreciate the compliment and you know I don't I don't do well when people compliment me but I thank you all right and and I and I want to also encourage you uh, to do as much as you can to you know keep it as clean as you can and stay focused and on message I think that's the most uh, important part especially this election cycle well, you know, MAGA will take you there. Um, and the truth is, is, you know, when you get pushed back up in a corner and, you know, you know what you know, you you got to mm. protect your village, right? You got to protect uh, your kingdom. You got to protect your name. You got to protect the things that you've overcome and right. the strength that you built, you know, around that. You have right. to protect your image, your platform. And you know, MAGA will do everything that they can to come in and tear that mm -hmm. down. And right. with their mindset too. And I just love how in spite, like for example, that live that we was in, where trouble started talking about your mom, I could mm. not believe how much of an example he was to how horrible, how horrible mothers are. Like mm. clearly his mama did not raise him right. I mean, to attack an innocent woman who is not even on the panel, who has not- Shame on you, trouble! Him. Shame on you. Dude. For you to be able to ex 
expose like these kind of people, Zeus. I just, I, I, I rock with it hard. But I, but let me say this, Zeus. I gotta say this, right? Don't believe if somebody's going around talking about people in a negative light when they're not around. Be very, very leery of that. Steer clear of people like that. Because if they could talk about somebody behind their back, they'll talk about you behind your. Well, we got we got a lot of Russian bears that do that. All right, Super Russian bears do I, that. I, and, yeah, and so I, you're I, right I, about that. But, yeah, but no. you know what it is. You know what it is. You just gotta stay on message, all right, and keep it clean, all right. Hey, let's go, all right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, and let me say this to you too, Zeus. And you know, because I wanted to come up here, I see. I I just have to say this. If we can address racism and systemic racism, and you know, uh, all of those Thank horrible you. things in our communities, we can address our own problematic people in our communities as well we can in a and and let me i would never abuse your space i would never abuse your okay. space to tag somebody zeus in your mm -hmm. space do you understand what i'm saying if i i do with somebody, i do i go but guess what to now, that now, now, okay now Tell i gotta truth. move uh, it is but we gotta keep it clean and keep the show going all right superwoman but I hear well, what you're I saying, and, you and I thank you for the me. love and support. All right, absolutely. I really do. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I see. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Superwoman. Oh my God! All right, all right, all righty, all righty, then, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do. All right, yes, uh, we must keep the kingdom standing. You know, the good book says a house divided can not stand. All right. And so I want to make sure uh, all of you MAGA demons out there understand this kingdom is still standing. And yes, to you, Mr. Trouble, how dare you bring up Zeus's mother in your little hateful diatribe, champ. I forgot about that, but now that I've been reminded trouble, next time I see you, it's going to be you and me, buddy, 1v1, and you better be able to stand on both of them. Your little eighth grade education doesn't measure up against anything I got going on. No, 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 Bushmaster, I'm not the divider. That's where you're wrong, Bushmaster. See, you came in here acting once again like a victim i will not allow you to be victims in this kingdom all right the truth is bushmaster you've been sold a bad bill of goods you're completely confused and you've been lied to your entire life and it, you just can't stand it ladies and gentlemen this is true on top of the fact that i know a lot of these trump supporters they don't have a lot of black friends or people of color as their friends and so they have a hard time communicating with us right this is another thing that i'm also understanding it's jealousy they just can't stand to see people of color especially black folks doing good they just can't stand to see us doing good you ever notice that it's like wait a second wait a second all i've done is gone live Every morning at my schedule, you know, I treat this like it's a, it's a job, right? You're supposed to be on time. You're supposed to be. I've treated this just like that. I've been consistent. I've been persistent and resistant in a way. I should I should coin that. And instead of Bushmaster and all his cronies sitting back and observing going, wow, that that guy, he's been religiously doing what he's doing and he's good at it. They sit back there and they conspire within themselves to hate on Zeus. You're nothing but a Zeus hater, Bushmaster. You and your friends, Zeus haters. All right? Go find something to do, Bushmaster, with your time. Since you're a genius, show us what you've been cooking. Simple. All you Trump supporters, don't just talk about it. Be about it. Show us what you've been practicing on in the gym. I want to see your jump shot. All I hear is I can't, I can't, I can't. When you come around and talk to the zoo, that's why I say you're not allowed to be victims around me. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I got off track, ladies and gentlemen, but you know what? It was a good thing. Good morning, Sister Takesha. <laughs> they don't like me. How you doing, Takesha? 
yeah. before I say what I got to say, please say, please say shame on you, tr uh, trouble again. Please say it again. Shame on you, <laughs> trouble. <laughs> when you said it, I got so tickled I couldn't get myself to <laughs> It's the way you said it. But listen, mm. as you know, we don't pay idiots no attention. We don't. But listen, first of all, I wanted to shout out um, the people that have fought addiction and gotten clean. Um, yeah. Bravo to you. And also, we we just want the ones to know that are still fighting it, that we're praying for you and we still believe in you. Because mm -hmm. all of us have been addicted to something. Because, baby, I'm addicted to a man. And when, <laughs> you know, Zeus, I go through the <laughs> Withdrawals. There you go into those withdrawals. I go through rehab, Zeus, about it. You know, right when I'm at the end of the hey, program, I relapse. So I mm. understand addiction, Zeus. Yes, Thank I you. do. But anyway, listen. We all do. Anybody that think that Don Jr. is not a sniffer has lost their <laughs> mind. When he on those videos, he sway harder than Trump's toupee in a mm. tornado wind. And mm. then his eyes be tighter than a virgin on her wedding night. They uh -oh. know that man is on that stuff, Zoom. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. They said when he go out, if he see anything white, he get to Because he I thinks it's that cane. Oh, that, that, that book of sugar. That book of sugar. Zoom. Oh, Lord. Say he sniffed better than a hound dog. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don, get help. Get they help, they, Don. Listen, they say when they go hunting, they just want to pick him up and put him on all fours so he can sniff the ears <laughs> out. So listen. But anyway, listen. Jesus Christ. I'm we very ashamed of the Republicans because them doing what Donald Trump say mm. is like a man, it's like an ex-husband <laughs> calling his ex-wife after she done got married, mm. telling her how to run her house. Oh, it makes that. absolutely no sense at all. Those men Trump. are weak, and those <laughs> women are buffoons. Mm. And the men sucking from the back, and the women sucking from the front. And he's Whoa. smelling the whole time. Maybe oh. the stink is the aroma that get them going. Um, <laughs> what you think, Zeus? <laughs> You know, uh, if that's what it takes to get, you know, I don't kink shame, right? We can't kink shame around here, but you know, that's something we definitely, I would say, you got to take that to the doctor or something. You got to get help because that's disgusting. And, and But that's what I'm saying. It's getting ridiculous. I mean, you got people in jail. Marjorie Taylor Greene and went on, you know, went to the prison, got in her favorite position on her knees, you mm. know, because she probably saw so many of her pen pals when she Ooh. went into jail to, you know, give up those prayers that didn't get no hide in the ceiling. And they, they sleeping on a cot and getting a hot and Trump at home laying in his self-made water bed, you know, wow. from where he wow. put the mattress out. Mm, and, and, mm. and they still talking gotta... about they love him. Mm. Ain't that something? I'm just confused, that... Zeus. Yeah, me too. Me too, Takesha. I, I, I just can't believe it. And you tell trouble. He better not never let me hear him say nothing about your mama. Because I'm going to roast him, baby. For... I'm going to roast him like a pig uh -oh. at a, a luau. Uh -oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, I'll yeah, get yeah. him for you, Zeus. What day you want me to get him? Cause he ain't gonna talk I, about our mama. I that's what I was saying. How low and evil do you gotta be to go that low and start talking about folks' mamas? Well, I get him tomorrow. Don't worry about it. You ain't gotta say nothing to him. I'm gonna get him. I got mm. some. I, I I got him tomorrow, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, Takesha, listen. Thank you so much. You're all so right. very welcome, sweetie. <laughs> all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, the beautiful Takesha. No lies detected. <laughs> One of the bad mamma jammas in the kingdom. All right, let's go. I get so excited. You have a mammy. She shares. She holds me tight. Got all the girls in the Let's go. She and by the way, uh, full transparency, uh, there are some fake bad mamma jammas out there all right uh the russian bears from what i've heard are are now calling themselves bad mamma jammas do not believe them these these are imposters these folks are like wolves in sheep clothing all right if you go around them i guarantee you you will regret 
ever being friendly with them. You see, the thing about me is, you know, they, they beg me, Zeus, block me. Oh, I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to do that. I want you to I want you to come on into this live and, and, and really listen to this special broadcast. And you know what they did? They they come in here with their backup accounts. They're probably in here now, but they won't they won't reveal themselves. You know, Bushmaster, I give it to you. You come in here with your real account, but a lot of your friends, they come in here with their fake accounts and they listen to everything that I say. All right. And, and, and they get worked up and terrified. And that's all right, because you know what they do then? They go back to their main account and they hit the block button, right? <laughs> it's one thing when I do it to them, but it's another thing when they do it to themselves. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring up our next panelist, the beautiful Shay. Let's go. Hello, hello, Kingdom. Hello, hey. Zeus. How is hey, everybody? Hey, I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom tending to the affairs as usual. I tell you, I tell you. Oh my gosh, I hadn't heard the Russian bears were calling themselves bad mamma jammas now. Yeah, oh, they that's, are. That's funny. They're so uh -huh. bad they can't attend this, but they got their friends recording us. Love it. Right. That's a bad mamma jamma. <laughs> Tell them, Shay. They ain't got the nerve to just sit in and take notes for themselves. They send their little friends over there to record because they're too lazy to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, we went to school with these people. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. Talk to yeah. them. Talk to them, yeah. Shay. Gloves are you off. Can't. No, the gloves are off because, you know, they they don't like it that I call you out. So I get called white savior. What? Oh. You were know, oh. in that live last night. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah, I Oh my would. God, a bear is upset because I called her out and just had to mention <laughs> to her there's a few things you probably shouldn't say to a black woman. Just trying to uh, help you out. Tell them. Just trying to help you out. You can call me white savior yeah. all you want. I'm just asking you to do better and be better. I'm not necessarily yeah. calling you racist or whatever, but I'm saying you have white supremacist talking points. Mm -hmm. So you can take that as it is. And if it hurts you, there's a reason for that. Maybe you know you've got some work to do. And that's what I'm here for. Because I've yeah. done a lot of work to work out my own issues. My own Tell ways them. I grew up. The own ways I was taught as a conservative. And grew up with white supremacists in my household. And heard the mm. word on a daily basis. I've had to do a lot of work. So... That is a fundamental thing that I will do, and I will not be quiet about it. And I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings and you don't like to be called out. It's not my problem. It's your problem. So learn yep. to do better. You know, you're going to tell black women to go get a check or call them hood ornaments and things like that. That's your problem. Tell them, Shay. End of story. So, and that's fine. That's fine. I did, you know, if you think me calling you out is spreading rumors about you being a racist on the app, it's not what I said, it's what you said. Take responsibility for yourself. End Bingo. Story. You are on a live TikTok app, you are on social media. Anything you say can and will be held against you at all points. So that's it. I mean, I'm sorry. You don't like. You, if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> Famous words, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So enough about that since I know I'm being recorded. Hello, Stacy and Janae. I hope you're having a fun day. <laughs> the Russian Bears. Yes. Let's go. I hope you're having a wonderful day because that's how I operate on this app. I do not wish anybody I mean, you, will. You would think they're having a wonderful day with all this winning. <laughs> With all this winning oh, that they're doing. Yes, yes, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. There was something I wanted to talk about. What was it? What was it? Yeah, uh, you you got to drop some politics nuggets. Uh, you yeah, know, I come to class prepared. I don't send people to do my work for me. Um, oh. uh, let's see. This was this is kind of crushing. You know, the, the Roe v. Wade, right? is going to be a very winning talking point for us um but adam schiff dropped a nugget and he said over sixty-five thousand women was ripped away by far-right politicians who were denied their own autonomy after an unthinkable act make no mistake really so wow sixty-five thousand pregnancies have resulted from grape in the wow. 14 states that banned abortion since roe v wade was overturned 
65,000 wow. unwanted Bushmaster forced upon pregnancies since Roe v. Wade has been overturned. You hear that, Bushmaster? 65,000 women have been forced and as a result have been impregnated unwantingly. You see what he said? 65,000 women. Uh, you heard 65 th babies. You know, those babies don't matter. The women's lives matter first. These women have a name. They have family. They have other children. They have loved ones. They have a life. They have a career. They have everything else in their world, Bushmaster. So you can go shove it. Um, and, and Why does it? And that is what, you know, these horrific bills, when they're like that, that is why whether you support a woman making that choice or not, it's none of your business And the end of the day. And so, like, we were talking about immigration and the border. And then, you know, we get often asked that question, oh, are you taking any immigrants into your home, any undocumented into your home? No. Are you taking any unwanted babies? Like, yeah, Bushmaster. Bushmaster, how many babies are you taking care of since you want to be a superhero today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and, and, and I'll go one step further. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even let Americans in my house. Well, exactly. Who does that, Bushmaster? What kind of nasty exactly. camp are you running? Exactly. You disgust me, Bushmaster. Uh, uh, you disgust me. Exactly. Did you hear about John Stewart? <laughs> oh, I heard he's coming he's back. He's coming right? back. Let's go. Right, right. In election time. Baby. <laughs> and I think that's the main thing. You talked about that kid being kicked out, that that was hysterical. Oh, Carrie Lake. Have you talked much about that? I have not brought up the Carrie Lake. Thing. So I'll, I'll just touch funding? on it for a second because I heard my bell. But yeah, so they're all like, oh, see, see what's going on, Carrie Lake. Okay. So when Carrie Lake lost the governor's race is when this phone call happened. So it was over a year ago this phone call happened, by the way. She records everyone, much like our Russian bears. So <laughs> she records all of this stuff. And she had talked about that there were people telling her to drop to drop out of the race that were pressuring her to get out of politics. She's been talking about that, but she hadn't released this tape until now. So that's mm. very interesting. It's an old recording of the uh republican head of the arizona whatever their their little branch there and mm. all he was saying is is that he has been told to encourage her to not run for senate so mm. here's the thing so so why can't you look at the fact that this is your own republican party that does not want trump and they do not want carrie lake you know why because why it was shown in in 20 20 and in 2022 specifically that the that the people that are pushing election fraud are not winning boom not a winning dialogue they do not want that and so they are going after these people that keep pushing that the election was rigged to get out of the races because they will lose. And that is the number, that's what's going on with it in the Republican Party. They're trying to get these MAGA idiots out because they know that they've been losing time and time and time again. And so Tell that's what's going on. So it's the, your own Republican Party. And you, of course, they're going to turn it like, well, it's because, you know, they're going against this deep state and they're going against the establishment. That's why they don't like them. No, they don't like them because they're losers. OK, all right. Tell, Tell them, Shay. <laughs> I love you guys. I have a fantastic all right. day in the kingdom and all my little white people out there keep working on your <laughs> racism issues. Oh, I love you. All right. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful. Shame. No lies. Ladies and gentlemen, there were no lies detected. I mean, when you write, you're right, right? Let's give it up to Shay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! say i push hate on my platform i don't i don't agree with that don't you feel the love in the room ladies and gentlemen right don't you feel the love in the room i i, I don't get why they say we're pushing hate when all we do is bring the truth and spread love every single morning monday through friday at 6 30 a.m pacific time i don't i don't get it 
um, to that gentleman who posted that he feels that this live is only one sided. He said he's from Canada. Uh, and that's exactly what it is, right? And the only side that you need to understand is this is the side of truth, all right? If you want to go and be lied to you, lied to, you can go to all these right-leaning lives that are on this app. Well, they will lie, and they will lie lower than a rug to you. But over here, we have standards, all right? And it's very important we uphold those standards. Not saying that everything we say may be 100% accurate, but, you know, if it is something that needs to be cleared up, we do a pretty stand-up job at clearing it up. So if you like being lied to, do me a favor and leave this live. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. Exactly. You can leave Bob, if you're not yeah. happy here, baby. You're so in crime. I, I'm doing all right. Just doing what God has me to do. Good morning to ya. Good morning. You know, I've been on you. about 10,000 boxes of cornflakes uh, <laughs> since about 4 o'clock oh. this morning. Ah, you know? Wow. You've been up since that early, too? You get up like that, I huh? do. You be over there? I do. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, oh, wow. you know, because you got sometimes you got to get up and get it when it huh. is good you know hey listen the early bird gets the worm right that's what i was told <laughs> well you right. should be getting in if the getting is good right ain't that what hey. two shorts say listen <laughs> <laughs> town business town business. Town business. i do i do i do it's a, it's, a, it's dangerous in the town these days <laughs> yeah there, right? yeah it is I, I i didn't blame keith lee for cutting out early though i ain't gonna lie mm. yeah. especially those areas that he was shooting yeah <laughs> on his video what, where was he at where he was, he was over there him? by um like san leandro boulevard oh, oh um, over there in the east. area you know where oh. the bar station is where oscar grant got yeah, unalived yeah, yeah 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 that's not a good that's not, right especially even if you are from it it's it's uh, not good it's always you know yeah. I mean, they call it oscar grant way too yeah right now yeah yeah but uh not a good have you been to uh have you been to tupac shakur boulevard Yes, I have actually. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple pictures at two Yeah, I did too. And yeah, Too yeah, Short yeah. got a he got a street up right over there by Fremont High. Oh, really? Yeah, I because he went to yeah, Fremont well. High. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, it's a lot of rich, that. rich history in that area. I mean, Prince and and um, Sheila E. Because Sheila E. Yeah. used to live two blocks behind Fremont, and Prince used to oh. go over her house all the time. And Pete Escovito, oh, wow. yeah. all of that. When he had his jazz club over by Grand Grand Lake. Okay. So, yeah, okay. it was it was lit. That's I know where the area is at. Yep. You know, you know you everywhere know, I'm know. talking about. I know your mind can go straight wherever it is. You know, yeah. Because exactly. if you're in the Bay Area, you just know. But exactly, I know it like the back of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. Born and raised. But um, yeah, you know what I wanted to what uh, to clear the air about is straight up accountability, right? Merriam Webster defines that word as an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's Bingo. actions right and yes. you know you gotta you gotta be real with that on all fronts if you wrong you wrong that's one thing i love about you zeus because you know it's one of the h's right but humble you know yes. you gotta be able to admit that you are wrong in order to correct you know what mm. i mean whatever needs to be corrected i mean I've, right. I've, I've walked this earth for 53 years so Amen. you know that definitely is not new to me. I know that every day you got to renew your mind. Hell. You know what I mean? Every Preach day. It. It's not Preach. just you know. Oh, I'm just gonna change my mind and that's it or whatever. And then you go right back to no. You got to learn from your mistakes so that you can move forward. You Bingo. know what I mean? And elevate yourself. You Amen. I mean? So yeah, that, those things are extremely important in in growing and basically just living life with a quality well, of such with that you do have integrity that you yes. do have morals that you yep. do have boundaries that are healthy and that will protect you from whatever you know what i'm saying forces because there's a lot of evil in this world tell there's them, a tell lot them of evil Steven. in this world we all know that yep. but that doesn't tell mean them. that we have to be a part of that you know what i mean Bingo. i ignore a lot of evil i ignore a it, lot of stuff i can be addressing all kinds of things but it's mm. not going if it's not going to elevate and 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 make me a better level. person then i don't want to be bothered with it 
You know what Amen. I mean? Because at that's the end all... of the day, I'm a grown ass woman and I oh. take care of myself. You know, and that's how I take care of myself, mm. is I protect myself from things, per, uh, people, places that are toxic for me. You Amen. Know I mean? that, you know, so I keep my circle small, you know, very clean, neat, and tiny, because, yeah. you know, you just got to. It's all about accountability, because you have to take it for yourself. You got to be able to look in the mirror and say, you know what, yeah, you're okay, you messed up on that. So let's try mm -hmm. again and make it better. That's what we mm -hmm. got to do. You know what I mean? Tell them about Steve. Now, you know, so everything else, it shouldn't even mean. That's how we should be raising our kids, too, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? It has everything You're to right. do with some value, morals, and integrity. That's why I say. So, anyway, yeah. I wanted to talk about accountability. That's what I came up with. Thank you. For, you know what? You I mean? know what? You, you inspired me, uh, Miss Boss Diva. You're totally right. We do need to all practice uh, being more accountable for our actions. Because none of us are perfect. Yeah. Not one you of know. us walk walking this earth's surface is perfect. And that's why we got to continue to, you know, figure out what mistakes we're making and how to correct them in order to be the better person. That's the only way. Amen. That's the only Amen. way. There's no other way to do it. And if there is, then somebody need to holler at me. Cause tell I've been living 53 years and that's all that's been the, the end result every single time. So tell them at any rate, yeah, my old ass is finna go, you know what I'm saying, roam these right. TikTok streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm an old beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Hey I'm man, saying, keep something, it. Something. Don't keep it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna do, I'm the light do what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, and that is right. eradicate MAGA and drink their tea. Faith. So Amen. much tell love about. to you, Zeus. You know you do what you do and you do it well. And all I'm, right. I'm here every day for you. You know what I mean? All right. That all right. And I'm, all right. Love you as well, Miss Boss Diva. And Much thank love, you for baby. those wise words. Those are very wise words, and it does mean a lot, all right? Thank you. Well, I appreciate you, Zeus. And uh, I'll see you, babe. Take care. You will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's 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 give the beautiful Miss Boss Diva a round of applause. No lies detected. And you know what? She did, she is right about it. We do need to we do need to step it up. And so we're going to take a moment to, to reinforce the importance of accountability. All right? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna make a change oh, Mike, don't for go. Once in my life. You better listen to him. It's going to feel real good. Going to make a difference. Going to make you right. I got to sing the words, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know we was going here.
ladies and gentlemen, see, y'all didn't got me active. All right, bright and early. I didn't got Zeus active. And I said, I wasn't going to do that, but I went and did it anyway. I said, I wasn't going to do that. Y'all taking me back to the old me. Woo! But you know what? It was necessary. And you know what? We're going to continue to keep on doing the work. Yes, uh, Miss Boss Diva, you totally are right when it comes to accountability. You know, I had to learn uh, a very important lesson in life. And this is after I went scorched earth, all right? Uh, and I was one of these individuals, and you've heard me talk about it, usually when I'm more on the Mr. Crossing side, right? <clears throat> I used to blame people for my toxic behavior. I mean, and I and listen, this is why I'm really good with MAGA. I used to blame people for my, my toxic behavior. I was an expert blamer, all right? I got a PhD. I can take any situation and say, well, that happened, but I had nothing to do with it, right? I mean, I have that skill set. And, and, and for a while, uh, I believed that I was quite successful until, you know, eventually you got to grow up in life, right? And, and someone gave me uh, some wise words of advice and they said, you know what, Zeus? See, you got it all wrong. I said, how? And they said, because it's not what happens to you that matters. It's how you respond to what happens to you. And I thought about that, you know, because I'm very up there in terms of my intelligence. I said, you know, I let that roll around in my head and I said, ah, I get it, I get it. You can't, you can't stop what's happening around you, right? This is part of the human experience, you really can't. But what you can do is pick and choose how you respond to it, right? Because I'm one of these people that also believes choices do have invoices, all right? And you know, I grew up, my mom, she used to tell me, Oh, you, you chose to do what you want to do, but you can't pick the consequences, you know? And so, you know, I didn't listen to my mom or my dad at the time, but as I've gotten older, I've realized, you know what? A lot of the consequences that I used to have, I don't have time for it anymore, right? So the choices I've made, I, I'm a little, I'm like 10 steps ahead of these folks now. Oh, I see what you're trying to do and I'm not taking it, I'm not doing it, right? And this is why I get out here and do what I do, right? And this is why MAGA, they can't stand me. Because I see them actually coming before they see me. So uh, excellent, excellent point, Miss Boss Diva. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness, my beautiful friend, Ange. Good morning, everyone. Hey, how are you doing? Wow, that was powerful, Zeus. Did you like that? Oh, my goodness, you got me. <laughs> you got me a little teared up over here. Really? Yes, that was beautiful. Well, and it was, well, it was much needed. Much, yeah. much needed, especially right before I came up because I was about ready to rip into somebody. And now oh, and now oh. I won't. I oh, won't. Okay. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking in the mirror now and I'm, I'm going to behave. Oh. I won't call. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Hilarious. <laughs> I won't call. You like that shade? Uh, oh, All right. yes. Oh, that was. Oh. All right. I, so I won't call that person out. Um, mm. However, there are people in the chat and they were saying it last night. I am a huge, huge advocate and wish we could have universal health care. I really do. Right. And every time I mention that, I hear, oh, she wants the freebies. She wants the handouts uh, and, and other things. Um, mm. So just real quick, um, I was a young single mom. I had three kids by the time I was 23, and I had to leave a, a, a mm. DV situation, Zeus. And okay. guess what? I didn't have a hand. I needed a hand up. That's mm. what I needed just a hand up, right? And right. you know what? A lot of people do. A lot of people need a hand up. So why don't you stop being so selfish, yeah. MAGA, and try to maybe put yourself in somebody's shoes before you go judging. You don't know what they've been through. You have no Bingo. freaking idea Thank what you, they've Rick. been through. Right. You never know. So stop the judgment and stop with the handouts because I'll tell you right now, Zeus, guess what? I went on to What's... get a college degree and a teacher oh. and I had two more children, I had this great life. And I just I just really wish we could stop that because you know what? What's I that? I pay it forward now, Zeus. No Thank questions you. asked. No questions yep. asked. Because I've been there. And if yep. you're gonna sit there and tell me you haven't been through hard times, you're a liar. You're a liar. Tell him, man. And I won't judge you. You come to me and you need my help. I won't judge you. And we really need to cut that out, people. Yep. Stop it. Nobody's looking for handouts. You know, some nope. people just need a little help getting on their feet. 
Yep. And that's part of the human experience, right? You 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 think people think sometimes money buys them happiness. You know, there's that's still right. people out here that think that it doesn't. That's right, click it, 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 it really doesn't. <laughs> when, and and you're right. I'm just kidding. I'm a millionaire, but you're miserable. Yeah. Your health is your your health is failing you. And you're yelling all can't the time. Save you. They're yelling yeah. all the time. They're talking about their life is so good. You know, I, I got tons of money, and I, but you're yelling all the time. You're yelling so hard, Mr. Nice Guy, that you're spitting. You mm. know, you're not, mm. you're not happy. Money doesn't buy happiness. And I don't nope. know what you guys are doing, but you better go fix it. Maybe you need yep. less money. I don't know what the, because <laughs> money ain't doing it for you, my friend. Yelling on here and calling, calling women bad, yep. horrible names, wishing horrible things upon people. I sat in a live last night with a bunch of people. You know, they're coming at me or whatever. I didn't say one thing back. Not one. Mm. Not one. Yeah. It's not necessary. Be the You're better person. Come... Look in the mirror, right? You hear that, Snuggles? Yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah. You, we're, we're not going to let Snuggles off either. He has a lot of work to do, in my opinion. Yes. And, there, and there's quite a few others, but um, you, you've got your work cut out for you. But I believe in you. You're bringing the truth every day. This whole kingdom appreciates you. Even the, uh, what do you call them, the detractors? They're here, aren't they? They're here, they do. right? Yeah, they, right? And they say silly things like, I come here to laugh. <laughs> That's what they say to justify being here. Won't you just be honest? You come here to be a, be a part of the love and fun because you don't get it anywhere else. And that's the thing, Zeus, sometimes with my lives, toward, you. towards the end, we're winding down, you know, we, we've had, you know, some debates or whatever, and, <laughs> and we're right, all having, Rick. we're all having fun. Me and my girls were noticing the other night, I think it was like Shay and Boss hey. and, and Miss Morningstar and Jess, you know, we're all there and we're like, look at this, we're all just now laughing and having fun. We're having that. fun, we're smiling, yeah. we're happy because we have better hearts. We have good hearts. It's not about the freaking money. It's about having a good heart. Stop telling people, oh, you're just looking for a freebie. Give that hand, yeah. give that hand up when somebody needs it. No, just Bingo. give a hand up. All right, that's yeah. all I gotta say. But and thank you, you Zeus. Are, you're welcome. You're on fire this morning. Well, that's Keep up the great work. Your song got me going, Zeus. I mean, my goodness, that just you. <laughs> wow, you really brought. We needed to hear that, sir. We needed. You to hear did that. right, right. We all got to, you know, make that. Make that change, Make that Mike change. Sit. That's right. right. See the good in people sometimes. All right, guys. All right. All right. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Ann. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, we reached that point in the live where Zeus must depart. But you know what? We're going to try to get a couple of more in. My sister, Miss Morningstar. What? Oh, Zeus. What's going on? Let's go. Oh, How you doing? Goodness. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Man, Ange, that's my girl. She just dropped. You know, Man, she's, so, she's such a humble, beautiful soul. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, that's awesome. You know, make sure y'all gift her because she's doing it for a special cause for somebody who's going through a current situation. It's DV and they need to get out. So make sure every time Ange gets up on here, we are gifting the heck out of her because she just got a good heart, you know? Yeah, yeah. very good heart. I've so, never seen someone so supportive and of, of everything that I've done. You know, you never know who you're going to run into out here and, right. you know she's one she's one of those folks out here where i'm like absent of me you know getting out here on this app i would have never met her and i'm happy yeah. to have met her through all of the work we're doing right you're right you are absolutely 110 percent correct yeah mm -hmm. and it, and that's you know and the, you, zeus i think you inspiring everybody with the song you know i was oh, jamming really? over here I ain't gonna even lie, I got up in my office, I was dancing over here. I, if they would have came in, they would have been like, Miss Boy, Miss, what are you, what you doing? What you doing, girl? But uh, yeah, more than stuff, you just, yeah, acting up. But no, for real, we do. We gotta we gotta make some changes. And um, I'm gonna start making changes. I'm gonna be nicer to the bears. Um, I mean, we could be, we could still be honest with these yeah, people, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm shy be, away from that, but what I'm not gonna do. What I'm not going to do is if I'm out of line or being, you know, inappropriate, I'm not going to say, well, well, it's because of the bears. I'm not, I'm not that yeah, type of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's on me. It's I on have, me. 
I have definitely uh, dragged the bears a little bit, but it was deserved. It was deserved, but I, you know, I understand they have feelings, and they're you know they're yeah. in their feelings a little. So I'm gonna back yeah. off a little bit. I just okay. just tell them don't steal our stilo. They want to steal yeah, right. our stilo. Come on, right. right? You know, you we know you want to come to the cookouts and be part of the party, but you got to get yourself right. You got to get that demon out of you, and then maybe yeah, you can to. come to the party and we'll yeah. give you a hot dog maybe. But uh, mm. you can't get no ribs. You can't get no ribs. Mm. You can't get no ribs until they act right. They got to they <laughs> they, gotta get some act right first, They right? got to get some act right before they get some ribs. But, no, I just wanted to say that about Angie and, and, and Boss Diva, you know. And she, man, so much knowledge, so much, so much. She she yeah. is definitely a star, a queen, a boss. Yeah, so Amen. we got to we gotta maintain that and stay humble mm. like you teach us, Zeus. And um, I just like I just wanted to say thank you. I wanted to thank you for that message this morning. That was powerful. Wow, wow! I didn't know you all enjoyed it that much, but it is what it I is. Love, what I love it is, Mike. Right? Who don't love uh, Mike? We love Mike, right? Right, right. That, I mean, that song was just powerful. That. It, it was, was a powerful right? song. But I'm gonna don't. get out of here, Zeus, because I'm, I'm I know they're gonna bail. They're and gonna everybody, bail. Y'all make sure y'all keep it clean and. Uh, Keep it humble in the kingdom, okay? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, all listen, right. thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Miss Morningstar. Yeah. One of the bad men of the She's got the classic. Oh, that's my sister right classic. there. She's got me. And to you, and to you men out there, let me let me be honest about something else. This is this is some more free advice. Um, you will end up having better healthier relationships with with women the more you start listening to women and and really unpacking all of your toxic behavior i mean and and i say this thank you i say this from experience right um to go from a position in life where you're like oh my god why do you why why do i need to listen to you to being in a space where you're like wow i don't know how i would have done it without you it's, it's freedom, all right? And that's real freedom, all right? And I, that's free advice I just gave you. A lot of you, it'd take you uh, two lifetimes to figure that out. And I just gave it to you, right? <laughs> all right, said he said, and you've been begging Zeus to come on the box. And you know it's past my time slot. So I want to see what it is you want to say to Zeus before we get up out of here. All right, said he said, what's going on, brother? Hey. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah you came in, begged Zeus, bring me up, bring me up. What Dad, is I just want to say, man. I just want to say you're doing a great job, but also, man, we have to keep our eyes on the prize, my brother. Okay. And okay. I think I figured it out. Um, Biden is a white man, uh, a white tea man. Uh, okay. Trump is a white tea man, right? Okay. Well, he's but orange. Kamala so. Harris is a woman of color, and and that is the reason why. Yeah. That is the reason why. Miss Nikki Haley is saying you can have Kamala Harris as president. We need to figure this out. All of us need to come together and say, hey, you know, we got to get rid of this white supremacy. We've got to do that. It's important yeah. that we keep our eyes on the prize, my brother. Yeah. All are, this bickering. And, and this is, she's ahead. the same woman says she doesn't know about slavery and racism, right? She says that kind of rhetoric, right? Absolutely. But, but, and, you, but she's pointing out Kamala Harris to, for a specific reason. Thank you, Wookie, for the subscription. It is it is a so-called browning of America. That is mm. what they're afraid of. These yeah. white team men are afraid to compete. They're mm. afraid to compete because they've had it their way for 400 years in this country. Mm. And it is, oh, it's over with. We're going to work yeah. hard and we're going to get it done. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. And I don't want to keep you. I know, you know, I was begging, but I hadn't saw, hadn't talked to you in a little while, brother. And I said, let me yeah. come up and say, listen, y'all need to figure out. Keep that tunnel vision, man. There's, there's a prize at the end of that rainbow. It could mm. be you, LGBTQ. Now. It could be right. people of color, poor white people. Everyone need to get together and make this country a better country. Not yeah. a great again, a better country. Make America better. Whatever exactly. you want to call it, right? Now, I mean, okay. you know, it ain't great. It ain't it has never been great, but we can make right. it better. Yeah. 
We can make I it better. I want to thank you, brother. Do- All right, you too, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Brother Sandy Santa a round of applause. Y'all be good. All thank right, you so much. All right. All right, you are totally, totally welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring him up. All right, let's who do we got next? Jay Sims, welcome, Jay Sims. Good morning. How are you doing? We're gonna try to get through the last few guests, hopefully, and get up out of here. Oh, Venus. Oh, I'm sorry, I got you first. Venus, greetings. How are you doing this morning? Venus, are you there? Uh oh, I think Venus is out to lunch. All right, all right, let's try Jay Sims. Good morning, Jay Sims. How are you doing? Sorry, got a mix. Up. How are you doing this I'm morning? I'm fine. I'm fine, and I thank you for allowing me to come up in the kingdom. You're welcome, as always. So I just got two things on my mind this morning. Now, what's that? Since Trump and the GOP followers, they know he's going to be the president nominee. So right. why are they becoming so unhinged and threatened to eradicate those that won't get on the Trump train now? Mm. Mm. You know, if he's going to be, so I mean, hey, if Haley want to roll, I mean, Nikki want to roll until uh, Super Tuesday. I mean, yeah. y'all Let both her. got it in the bag, so what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? You telling, <laughs> you telling uh, Cornell West and the rest of them to stay in the Democratic? <laughs> yeah. Your primary, you know, what's good for the goose, good for the gander. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like that thing, right? Uh, I didn't do anything wrong, but I need presidential immunity. Yes. Right? It's like that kind of thing, right? <laughs> like that kind of thing. Now, my yeah. second thing is this. And I was just reflecting. You know, uh. since the court order have told Governor Abbott to remove that wire and stuff out there. And mm. so you have some of the governors, even the governor, people down in Texas, they're going to defy the Supreme Court order. The court order. Right. Yeah. And my mind went back. My mind went back to George Wallace when he said segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation mm. forever. And and then when Governor Barnett, he defied the Supreme Court order and wouldn't, yeah. and wouldn't allow it to be integrated. Then you had the Little Rock Nine, where old Governor Fathers defied the Supreme Court order. So Tell them. what they had to do was federalize the National Guards. Mm. You federalize the National Guard. If they don't want to comply with the court order. See, it's that same mindset. See, that's why when people talk about, oh, well, it was the Democrats that had to cook. cook, cook. That's them Republican mindset. Those are mm. descendants of the fathers, descendants mm. of Barnett, mm. George Wallet. Don't think hey. they did wrap themselves in the Republican flag and name. Uh. Them- Tell them. They don't like it when you tell them their history like that, Jason. Like you know that. Cool. Huh? Are you there? They don't like it when you tell them their history like that. Oh, you got a call. Like cool. But, Wait you know, I, I, I just okay. thought about that. Like that. Like oh, Wait, you got to you, you, you gotta echo. You got to echo. Come on back up, Jason. Come on back up. Close us out very strong like. All right? I like what you did right there. Remind America of their history, all right? And you tell it just like it is because guess what? We won't allow MAGA to be victims over here, all right? And I hope Bushmaster is in here listening. It's one of his rare rare times, Bushmaster, where you can listen to a black woman tell the truth. Yeah. Go ahead, Jay Sims. Yeah, and thank you for bringing me back up. But no, that, that was one of the main things. You know some Time change, but peoples don't change. Oh! Uh. So, mm. not every, ain't nothing new Little under hawk. the sun. Enough. And if you go back and look at history, and history mm. has a way of catching up with you, whether Ooh. you want to accept it or not. Oh. So, you know, we, we hear the same thing, some of these Southern governors and, and in, in, individuals telling fathers, hot wheel, defy the Supreme Court. You know, just like when they told them to redraw these maps. Uh. They said, we're not going to do it. Mm, mm. Wow. We're not going to do it. They're going to mm. defy the mm. order of the Supreme Court. 
the law of the land. They, they gonna say it don't apply to us. Well, it seems like that's what they're saying. Yeah. So make because it they make wanna, sense. It make doesn't it make sense. sense. Y'all folks is evil. These folks are some evil folks. And then they want to tell us they love us. I don't want to hear. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I, I, we've heard that before and we saw what they did in the name of love to us didn't yeah. we are we all one we a big but you don't why we got to go in the court every 20 years and 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 argue for our civil rights if we all won bingo i don't see nobody else gonna have, have have to do that bingo because racism is inherited mm. it is there and it's not going to be eradicated as easy as you think. And see, that's what that Shelby had to do when they, and, and uh, they went against it, the Supreme Court. Mm. And that just let the floodgates open for them white races. Mm. They did mm. everything they can, and they feel bold enough they can do whatever they can to gerrymander and seek power. Wow. And cut us out. But now I didn't wow. get it enough, but those, there was a couple of things on my mind. <laughs> I appreciate it, Jay Sims. I knew you had something for Zeus because you don't send requests that often. I said, oh, we're going to have to hear that truth, all right? <laughs> well, that was and not I appreciate truth it. day. <laughs> I, listen, I appreciate it. I appreciate you having the courage and conviction to get in the box and tell the truth and shame the devil, all right? Amen. You keep on. All right. Love you very much. All right, ladies too, and gentlemen. Boots. Let's give Jay Sims a round of applause. No lies to Jay Sims. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, this show is officially over, all right? I'm so sorry I didn't get to talk to all of you, all right? But if you were in the queue today, tomorrow I got you. I see you, all right? For the uh, the plane has officially landed. You're you're now free to take off your seatbelts, all right? But listen, ladies and gentlemen, before we get up out of here, you know what we got to do. You all deserve a round of applause. Thank you for staying and listening to this exciting, educational, and entertaining show. All right. For my uh, subscribers, we almost hit a subway. We did pretty good. The gifters, the panelists, and the moderators, you all deserve a round of applause. <laughs> all right. We're getting it right over here. All right. And uh, you know what we got to do uh, to the haters. There's some Zeus haters out there. All right. You know who they are. They cloak themselves in lies. And... They cloak themselves in things like them being fake Christians, and they spread hate out here, all right? They're my critics. They're my haters. They're my detractors. You know what we got to do to them? Give them one last round of booze and shame. Oh. Listen up. You can be as jealous as you want of me, but it's not going to change a thing. I will continue to bring nothing but the unadulterated truth out here on this platform as long as the good Lord allows me, you MAGA demons. You all need to do one thing, which is repent. Thank you, Valerie, for the subscription. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You all deserve what you are getting right now. And this isn't even the end of the year, but I guarantee you, MAGA, by the end of this year, you will be on your knees begging America for forgiveness. And that's exactly where we want you. And your leader will be too. All right. But none will be given to you because of all of your wrong, all of your sins and all your crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, take care. Stay safe out there in those TikTok streets. I'll see you tomorrow. Same Zeus time. Same Zeus channel. Click me. Donald Trump doesn't love you. I just want you to know that. And you heard it here first, champ. Have a great morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. Yes. This is how I stay around. Evan, thank you. Great show. I hope you all enjoyed the show. It was interesting. Wow. My partner ain't crying. You, you are all amazing. And I'm proud of the eagle. You even like a bum, get away from me, fool. I got money, money on my mind. mind. I can't leave it up to you. I can't hang around with you. Ready?
you were high right, risk, they go in the Y'all did good. Y'all did good. Head. This is way Be nice. Friends. When you playing with the gun, then you, you playing with the dead. dead. Let's go. Time to let loose with the truth. Hey, you yeah, can't grab your goose. Hey, little mama, let me play with your caboose. Come on, man. Hey, let me go. Valerie, you're sending out those solutions. Hey, let me go. Hey, listen, we only need one more subscriber, and we're going to hit the waves. Let's go. Thank you, man. Let's go, man. It's your job. You know I'm so handsome. That's why they call me Zeus. Let's go. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. And you ain't at the fool when I'm looking like don't be playing with my Mickey P. Thank you so much. You're thinking that you're cool to I love all like of you. Zeus. All right. In the sky like Tomorrow Friday, we're going to have to end the week strong. The God, Thank you, Jay. I'm hotter than Hades and I'm burning down the roof. You say you How about you write me some bars, though? Uh oh, Val. Wow. wow, we hit the sub. Success. Thank you, Val. Yeah, that's my first time. Now, Negro. Don't be in the pool, even though I'm hot. Oh, wow, that's aggressive. You are all the best. Thank you, man. Like hey, I'm to let loose with the truth. Hey, yeah, grab your goose. I love you too. You don't have to. It's better than you just coming from the cave, but it's amazing that you're able to support. Let's go. Right, Jess. Like a mongoose. Faze love me, yeah. I'm the one that they choose. You know I'm so handsome. Let's go. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jess. 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 Thank you, Jess.